Zakir Naik is a gentleman in India who has been sharing information about Islam and Christianity. He has a memory that's like a computer and he's a great speaker. But a lot of what he says just simply is not true and it misleads many people. And it's not just me saying this. There are Muslim scholars uh, in the ulama who are actually saying this. There is a madrasa in, in northern India, the Deoban Madrasa, where people have actually issued fatwas against Zakir Naik. They have said things about him such as, one should not rely on his speeches. And he is not reliable and Muslims should avoid listening to him. In fact, they even said Zakir is away from knowledge and wisdom, spreading mischievous things and misguiding simple Muslims to the wrong path. So it's not just me who says that uh, Zakir Naik is not using sincere logic in, in truth, but rather that he's misleading people. Muslim scholars say the same thing as well. And even if we read the Bible correctly, even according to the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he did not die on the cross. <laughs> and even if we read the Bible correctly, even according to the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he did not die on the cross. Hello everyone, it's Act 17 Apologetics again here at Dearborn, Michigan. We've been going through the various booths, getting the information that's found at tables. And here's one that I found extremely interesting. It's called Un Uprooting the Forces of Evil, Islam's War on Terrorism. Now, now if it was written truthfully, we should be able to clarify these things by talking to the people at the booth. How about we give it a shot? Let's see what the people at the booth have to say about this pamphlet. Okay. Now read the first question to me. Read the first question. Well, you read the first question. No. Hold on a second. I'm worried about her. If they're telling you to stop taping, stop taping. She can tape. Stop it. I want you to read. If you don't stop the question, stop taping. That's what we're
We've been given a pamphlet by those people. They asked me to read it and come back to them. They knew we had a camera when they told us that. Can we go there and ask them a question? They even said we can record it. We talked to the police earlier, not you guys, we talked to police in uniforms. They said there's no right for anyone to stop us from recording. Uh, yeah, okay, we're just, I think they're just making sure there's no problem. You're going to have a dialogue, yeah. That's you're just making sure there's a booth that says okay. job questions. We got, all I'm going to do is ask some questions about this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. As long as you guys are having a dialogue and not an argument where you're getting a group of people that, that are looking for trouble. You understand Good. what we're saying? So if they group up and they're talking and you're talking, there's no problem. Fine. What if they get angry and we don't? Yeah, what if we, 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 we'll walk out. We'll walk, we'll walk out. away. Okay. Come get us. Okay. Well, that's where we're going to keep everyone All right, cool. All right. Okay. So, who am I asking? Do you hear that? I don't want to see the camera. Turn it up. 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 Don't worry about the camera. Don't worry about the camera. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about the camera. The last We're just saying if you want to answer the question. This is a lady who assaulted my friend. She grabbed the front of the camera and pulled it down. And she just went on, she got on her walkie-talkie and said we're harassing her. like to distract him. Yes. Yes. Okay, hey, 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 
way you can touch my yes. camera. This is America. I don't care. Don't you cannot touch my camera. No, touch don't, don't touch it. I'm just standing here no, watching. I'm just telling don't you, touch, do not touch her. You cannot touch my camera no, no. or okay, me. Okay, that okay, is assault okay, in America. Okay, you need to back away. Don't take picture. No, I am allowed to take a picture for my own use. I, don't give a, no, I was standing picture. here. Hey, hey, hey. We don't want don't touch me. That's assault. That's assault. Yeah. Yeah. Get your camera out of my Get your camera out of my All of it. Give it. I'm going to say one more time. Stop this is security assaulting David Wood on camera. Three times that gentleman right there. Could you, will you share your name? Will you share your name? You need the permission to be paid me. You know that? David Wood on camera. Three times that gentleman right there. Jamil, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Come on. Put him away. Put him away. Don't take picture. Don't, don't take picture. Hey, hey, don't take picture. Security, security. Don't take picture. Where's the real cops? Where's the real cops? Look at this. This is the United States of America. No way. Don't take picture. Where's the real cops? Where's the real cops? Look at this. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking, or I'll make you keep walking. Trust me, I will. Keep walking. Your hands shaking too much. Keep walking. Don't get your tape. You need permission from me. Go and touch up. This Nobody is the United States of America. Hey, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. This is the United States of America. No way. Keep walking. This is what happens. This is what happens. Okay, keep walking. I'm a free citizen who's come here to record a question. And these guys have been smacking the camera, have been assaulting us. Welcome to Sharia in the United States. Sharia. Look at this. Look at this. This is YouTube material right here. This is YouTube, right? And it's going to court. All of it. All of it. Hey, make sure you guys keep on sight on them. Hey, David, this way. This, way, this, this way. man just tried to trip me. This man just tried to trip me. These two guys right now be taken care of right now. Hey, make sure you guys keep outside on that. Okay. Hey, David, this way. This way, this way, this way. Just tried to trip me. There we go. Officer, 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 officer. Officer, officer. Yes, we will film. We will everything. Stop. Look, everything. We have them assaulting us. We have them slapping our cameras. You guys right now. Okay. You guys try to trip us. Get over here. We're just trying to leave. Get back. Get back. All we're trying to do is leave. Okay. Hey, those, these two guys have to leave right now. These two. We have to leave the premises. We have everything on camera that happened. We have to okay, good. Okay, okay, good. Time, so you know everything that happened right here. And we want to leave. Okay. And these and gentlemen have been trying to trip us. They've been hitting. No, we haven't. We're we're lying. Lying. We, we have not. No, I haven't. No, you're lying. You're lying. We got on camera. But hatred for the West is not limited to the Islamic world. Radical Islam has for years been spreading its ideology in the West. This jihad rally is taking place on the streets of London. The infiltration of radical Islam is so deep, it's shocking. And everyone's in denial about it. The minute you say, oh, this is an extremist group, you know, all of a sudden, it's, oh, you're not being politically correct. You have a Muhajirun, who's an open-fledged terrorist entity, speaking out on the streets, 
calling for Muslims to jihad against Britain. We've been infiltrated by people who want the Quran to replace our constitution. احنا رحنا انا رحت سنة 95 لقيت خطب بتقول ان هم منطلقين للبيت الابيض خلاص من 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 المساجد من بعض المساجد. و يعني ايه منطلقين للبيت الابيض؟ يعني كان واحد بيقول في خطبته ان احنا ذاهبون دلوقتي الى البيت الابيض علشان ان شاء الله ينتصر الاسلام ويتحول البيت الابيض الى البيت المسلم. يعني هيروحوا يحتلوا البيت الابيض يعني ولا لا ب ب ب ب ب بسواد الاسلام وافكاره سوف يتغير البيت الابيض. Hamas has the largest infrastructure of all terrorist organizations on American soil today. They are not trying to be part of the American way of life. They are not trying to be part of our culture. They are here with an agenda to make Islam the law of the land. Just to show where our loyalty belongs to. You see this flag here? It's going to go on the floor. And to us, our loyalty does not belong to this flag. Our loyalty belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course, not all Muslims are like that. But we've been infiltrated with this kind of agenda. And uh, America has to wake up because we are strangling ourselves with our political correctness. There is tremendous deception in terms of saying one thing publicly and another thing privately. Yasha Arafat obviously was the master of this dual agenda in terms of openly supporting pluralism or nonviolence or condemning terrorism. I condemned completely these terrorist activities. And then secretly or behind closed doors supporting it. Sometimes you would find a Muslim who appears to be moderate. We were the first, as you may remember, post September the 11th, who said that the actions of flying planes full of innocent civilians into buildings is not legitimate. But uh, in his deeds, uh, he's not uh, as moderate as uh, he is. We are here to talk about the Magnificent 19. Those who two years ago today split the world into two camps, into the camp of Islam, and the camp of non-Islam or Kufr. Those who revived the obligation of Jihad worldwide. The Magnificent 19, they were praising the hijackers, celebrating the attacks on New York. The deception is so high and so successful that I'm afraid we're losing the battle. In order to expose British terror groups like al Mahujarun and supporters of Sharia, Glenn Genvy collaborated with Jonathan Galt and acquired recordings of the group's meetings held in London mosques. The tapes reveal open incitement to violence and terror, in particular from Abu Hamza al-Masri, who calls upon followers to kill the Kufar, or non-Muslims. Abu Hamza, in one of the clips, is talking about the word kufa that if you are not a Muslim and you live in a Muslim land you are like a cow that's his word you see the Islamic rule if a kafir goes into a Muslim country and he's walking by he's like a cow going anybody could take him that is the Islamic rule and this is the opinion of the fuqaha it's not my opinion if you read the books of, of jihad you'll see you can take him to market you can sell him uh, kafir is walking by he went he went inside you catch him whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing here? Then he's a good. You can sell him the market. You can kill him. If Muslims cannot take them to the, to the and you know, and sell them in the, in the market, then you just kill him. It's okay.
Yeah.